and welcome everybody to another edition of Hawk Scorn from the Hellcats Arena in Slam City. It looks like our referee this evening is the beautiful Amy Lee Starr. <laughs> Now, for those who don't know me, I am Maynard Schmooze calling the action for this evening. It looks like we are ready to go here. Now, I believe our first contest is scheduled for one fall. Our first competitor hails from Tokyo, Japan at a weight of 142 pounds. She is Misaki Yumako. Quite an ovation for you, Mako, here. This Japanese star is well loved by these fans from all over the world, that's for sure. Apparently, Yamako donning a black cat suit. I wonder what that's all about. <laughs> Yay! Not many wrestlers. How often do you see wrestlers wear cat suits like that in the ring? Yay! <laughs> And a little greeting to the crowd from Yamako here. As I believe we are now ready for her opponent. She hails from the Serenity Valley at a weight of 130 pounds. 
She is the Firefly, Kaylee Carter. And of course, accompanying Katie to the ring is Katie Dupont-Carter. Certainly a pair of very talented ladies to kick off the action tonight. Should make for a great opening match. And now Katie DeVall Carter giving her sister a few coaching tips, reminding her to keep moving and don't let Masaki get a hold of her. And there's the bell! This match is officially underway! As Kaylee and Misaki will meet in the center of the ring and lock horns! And now a wrist lock into a side headlock from Yamako early on! Uh oh! Now she's wrenching that wrist! And into a hammer lock. Wearing down that arm early as she clubs it. Ooh, and follows up with a headbutt. And now an Irish whip into the ropes. What's this? A rebound into a hurricane runner from Kaylee Carter. <laughs> Kaylee Carter showing some agility of her own. And now she's trying to return the favor with her own wrist lock. Now wrenching that wrist. And into the hammer lock. But Masaki counters the hammer lock with a snapmare, and off the rope she goes. Ooh, and nails her in the midsection. And now the cover. One. Only a one count. Apparently a lot of fights still in Kaylee Carter here. And I'd imagine so with the show she put on me earlier. And now she gets Irish whipped into the corner. And Misaki just smacking away at that chest with a couple of corner chops. I guess she's trying to turn all those tattoos pink. And she runs into the ropes, but what's this? Kaylee Carter's got a hold of her with her legs. 
and takes her down with a leg scissors. A great counterattack by Kaylee Carter there. And Misaki Yamako looks like she's seeing stars. Ooh, and a low drop kick to the midsection. Kaylee Carter showing some great athleticism here. And now the cover. One. Only a one count. A lot of resistance in both of these ladies. Now her coach slash sister reminding her to stay on her. And now a kick to the midsection, and she shoots her into the ropes. But Masaki comes back with a Hurricane Rana. Uh-oh. She just picked her up and slammed her down with that body slam. Uh-oh. And another one. And off the rope she goes and into a diving headbutt. And now the cover. One, two. Two count only. Uh-oh, now Masaki's picking her up by the hair. The referee might want to check that. Uh-oh, now she's got her in the full Nelson. But Kaylee counters with a jawbreaker. Now off the rope she goes. And nails her with another low drop kick. And flies off the ropes with an Asai Moonsault. And now you're starting to see a little bit of the wear and tear in Kaylee Carter. She's starting to look a little exhausted there. It's easy to see why. And now the cover. One, two... Almost had her that time. I think if not for the fatigue, she probably would have had the pinfall there. Now she picks Masaki back up. Oh, and a bicycle kick! Apparently, she doesn't want to put her away just yet. Picks her back up. Kicks her in the midsection. Puts her in another lock. Clubbing the shoulder. And now the Irish whip. Uh-oh. It looks like Kaylee got the better of her with the spear into a ground and pound. It looks like the cat suit lady is showing her a little cat fighting. And now into the front face lock. She drives her knees into that sternum. This cannot be good. Swinging neck breaker. And the cover. One, two, almost three. But 
Both of these ladies have been down quite a bit in this match, but certainly not out. <laughs> Some great resilience in both of them. Uh-oh. Now Yamako has her by the leg. Now brings her back to her feet, sends her up and down with another body slam. That's the third one this match. That's got to be taking a toll on Kaylee Carter's spine. And she hit, goes up to the top rope. Now, uh-oh. It looks like Kaylee Carter <laughs> caught the... <laughs> Got hold of the rope, sending Masaki crutch first into the turnbuckle. That has got to hurt even for a woman. Now Kaylee Carter sends her flying down with a Frankensteiner. But can she follow up? You can see the pain and exhaustion in both of these ladies. Here's the count. One, two. Only a deuce. How was Misaki able to kick out of that one? It's looking like one good move, and this match is going to be over at the... With how fatigued these two ladies are looking now. Now an Irish whip back into the corner. And the body splash. Sending Masaki Yumako down on her rump in the corner. Uh oh, what we got here? The back handspring. Into a Bronco Buster! And now she's bringing her back to the middle of the ring by the ankle here. Okay, telling her to put her away, but looks like, oh no! Kayla, he got flipped over there, apparently. Nope, flipped over and applied pressure to that leg. Now picks her up, sends her back into the corner. But Masaki, not being fooled a third time, gets her with the spinning heel kick. And now into a full Nelson here. The referee claiming that the hair is being pulled in this hold. Oh! That has got to do it with that face buster. And now a camel clutch. Trying to stretch her out like taffy. And we have a tap. Your winner of this match is the result of a submission, Misaki Yumako. It looks like Masaki's not done with Kaylee here. Ah, just showing her a sign of respect by telling her good match. Well, at least she wrestles with honor. Yay!
And that was a very incredible match, I must say. Some great athleticism from both competitors. Well, anyways, I think we got another match coming up. Let me look at the card here. Yep, it should be set for one fall for the Hawks Championship. I hope I got this right. Yep, our next contest is for the Hawks Championship, and it's set for one fall. Introducing first, she is the Hawks Champion from Tokyo, Japan, at a weight of 142 pounds, Miss Misty. Now, Misty, say in one moment, folks. Hey, what did I not do this time? Uh, well, I'm just going by what the card said. Apparently, they mixed your stats up. Okay, 150 pounds from Atlanta. Yeah, for some reason, whoever wrote this card gave Miss Misty the same stats as Misaki Umako. Why, well, I'll never know. <laughs> Oh, anyways, her challenger comes from Pendle Hill in the United Kingdom at a weight of 140 pounds. This is Katie Carter. I just go by what the card says. Somebody accidentally put Masaki's stats on your info there.
It looks like the two are ready to go here. Now, rightfully so. A little vice versa from our opening match. This time, it's Katie Carter accompanied by Kaylee Carter. But when they're sisters, why would they not cheer each other on, right? I believe the referee is ready, as there's the bell. Now they finally line up in the middle of the ring. And lock horns. And Miss Misty just shoves her down like she was nothing. But Katie not fooled as she does, as she makes a nice leg sweep kick. I think she ought to quit pay, start paying less attention to her sister and more on her opponent. Connects with the with the shot off the ropes and the drop kick. Something tells me that this will not be an easy opponent for our champion. But it looks like Miss Misty ain't gonna be fooled twice as she comes back with a clothesline. Followed by an elbow drop. Now Misty clubs her in the back with a forearm and the Irish whip into the ropes. And she picks her up and slams her down with a body slam. And now doing some more work on that spine with those stumps. And it's looking like all Miss Misty right now as she picks her back up. And sends her down with a side backbreaker. It looks like Miss Misty's out to be reticulating spines here so far. And now applying more pressure to the spine as well as the midsection with a bear hug. Trying to wear down the challenger here. The bear hug can be a very painful move. It can make you tap out or pass out. Apparently, a little motorboat action is allowing Katie to counter and break out of it with a Hurricane Rana. It looks like that took a to quite a toll on Katie's back there as she shoots off the ropes and connects with a low drop kick. Now 
off the ropes again and flies back with an offside moonsault. And now the cover here. One, two, two count only. We almost had a new champion there. And now Katie Carter. Is probably thinking, what do I got to do next to put this champ away? And she continues to favor that sore back. Stomping away at the champion. Now picks her back up. What's she going to do here? Looks like our challenger has Miss Misty right where she wants her. And now a kick to the midsection. And off the ropes goes Katie. But Miss Misty counters with a back. Body drop across the ring. That's got to do even more damage to that already sore back of hers. And now follows up with a leg drop to the midsection. And Misty picks her back up and sends her across to the corner with an Irish whip. Uh-oh, now she's just punching away at the challenger. And the referee warding her to let her out of the corner and she starts to count. And Kaylee <laughs> wanting to get her off, or someone to get her off. <laughs> As Misty shouts, Atlanta, uh oh, this could be trouble. Big splash into the corner. It looks like our challenger is in some serious trouble here in the corner. It's Miss Misty applies the front face lock. And sends her up in the air. And down with a Northern Light Suplex. And now the cover. One, two, only a two count. I thought that was going to be it for Katie there. Apparently, her back's a little stronger than it looks. And after a couple stomps, the champ picks her back up. Uh-oh. Got her up in the air again. Showing her immense strength with that gorilla press. But Katie counters with a hurricane runner. An amazing counter from our challenger, Katie Carter.
Miss Misty looking a little groggy on her way back up. And the adrenaline rush from Katie. Ending with that big drop kick to the mush. And now an Irish whip into the corner. And now, a high knee followed by an enziguri. This could be it here. Another basement drop kick. And now she's got that that damaged leg of, of our champion, Miss Misty. And she drags her out of the corner. And apparently this is no easy task for our challenger here. Oh, and she drops the elbow on that bad leg of hers. And now stretching it out with the leg stretcher. Now some exhaustion shown from both competitors. A Katie to or Katie Carter back up to her feet. Or at least up to one foot. And now our champion trying to make her way back up to her feet as well. Uh-oh. A half crab from Katie Carter on that bad knee of hers. Stupid phone. There we go, sir. Yeah, folks. And it looks like the hold is in the ropes. The referee telling Katie Carter to break. And now the referee counting. As Miss Misty uses the ropes to get back up to her feet. Uh oh, Katie's out on the ring apron. What's she gonna do here as she steps down to the outside? Uh oh, it looks like she's looking for something under that ring. Or I guess not. She just wanted to take a little breather. Uh-oh. Now she's choking her on that top rope. I don't think the referee's going to last too long. But luckily, the hold is broken before she starts counting. Uh-oh. 
Now Miss Misty looking rather groggy as she gets back to her feet. Katie up on the top rope and nails her with a slingshot drop kick. That's a move made famous by the Japanese legend Tiger Mask. And now a shining wizard. This could be all she wrote for the champion here. And now she stomps away at the champ. Goes for the cover, but close to the rope, so hard to tell. It looks like we only got a two count here. Apparently our champion must have gotten a hold of the ring apron there. Remember, if the person you're pit, if somebody touches the ring apron or the rope, it counts the same. And now the referee starting a double 10 count here. Both women looking out of it here. Or sorry, a double 20 count. This is Hawks. But will we see a double knockout? Referee up to five. Now they both try to make their way back to their feet. And Katie Carter first to strike with that kick to the midsection. Now off the rope she goes. It looks like Miss Misty caught her with a spine buster. Now we are seeing why Miss Misty is our Hawks champion with comebacks like those. Now she picks her back up. And an Irish whip into the ropes goes the challenger. And Miss Misty catches her with a spear. With all that damage to the midsection and the spine, you know Katie Carter has to be in a world of pain right now. Uh-oh. That's not good. Miss Misty shouting psycho! And she got her up and spikes her down with a psycho bomb. Thank you for coming, Katie Carter. One, two, three. Your winner of the match and still Hawks champion, Miss Misty. All right, now I'm sure many birds are tweeting in Katie Carter's head right now, but that was one hell of a fight she put on.
and some class being shown from our champion extending our hand her hand to Katie Carter a great show of respect and sportsmanship for such a great match oh even more class offering to buy her a beer both of them a beer <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, I guess it's now time to list our sponsors. Just a reminder, on the 23rd of November will be our next free preview, Hawks Dangerous Curves. It's that time of year to don your leather and fishnets and put 200 horsepower of raw muscle between your legs and hit the open road. From now through Dangerous Curves on the 23rd, you can enter to win the custom Dangerous Curves chopper you see in the corner of the arena. This chopper is made by our sponsor, Turlocker Custom Bike. It also has the bells and whistles of eight of, eight of their amazing bikes. It's one of a kind. Remember, it's only 50 Lindens per entry, and you can enter as often as you wish. So just like voting in Chicago, be sure to slap that board early and often. Also, if you want to know, you want to know what those bikes do, a more appropriate question is, would be, what don't they do? 98 poses, singles and couples, including sexy poses in most of our bikes, as well. As well as very low lag, lady radio for talking to your friends on other bikes, major combat system embedded, I mean embedded into the bike. So if you shoot it, shoot it, it will explode. Also, passenger on off feature, color texture control via the gear ratio, turn on and, and off the light. Automatic updates, anti-theft system, ability to drive mouse look, flight manual or automatic gearbox, MP3 CD player, GDR mode, fuel, poofer, burnouts, and so much more. Be sure to check them out in the Hawks shop and take one for a test drive after the show. You won't find a better bike on Second Life, I assure you. Also, another one of our sponsors is Absolute Animations. Want to add some fresh new moves to your matches? Tired of doing the same old things everybody else does? Then come up to the best and create the best. The absolute best animations on Second Life are waiting for you. Be sure to contact every Miyashiro resident for info and pricing for custom moves and visit the vendor located in the shop. Also be sure to visit their main store located in the sim of Coastal Breezes. You can click on their ad for a landmark. Another sponsor is Avena's Weaponry located in the Careers sim. Avena Weaponry is your one-stop shop for swords and all your medieval... Uh, needs, I guess. Now, how about this? Avena's Hardcore Weaponry. Yes, Avena Weaponry. Now, do I have your attention? Now, we are going to come visit because, yes, Avena's weapons have changed. We now feature Hardcore Weapons. Want to burst your opponent's mouth open? I. Then we have a board with nails. Want to punch that big mouth in the face with a chain? Well, they got the fist with chain wrap around it, too. And what, what to just beat the crap out of someone? They have something for that, too. Got an idea for a weapon you don't see? All you got to do is ask the owner. 
and they will make you something to make sure your opponent knows damn well you mean hardcore business. A Venus hardcore weaponry. More hardcore than Sabu. In our dreams, stop and see them in careers. They have four items live now and more to come at only a hundred lindens each. Yes, only a hundred lindens each. Look and looking to trade for advertising. Oh, we are also brought to you by Raging Grace Photographer. Photography, blah. Raging Grace does pictures from singles to couples, family pics, kid pics, adult pics, even those sexy hot under the collar pics. Themed even pics for the family. Their pictures have reasonable prices, even packages. Standard rate is 20 lindens per pic. Want no more? Contact Rosalind Grace Rage or Piper 730 Resident. Also, spon we are also sponsored by TyrusTheNova.blogspot.com. This blog features Tyrus Cervevi. If you want to find out more about your favorite wrestlers, check out the blog by Tyrus. With over 40 wrestlers already inter interviewed and more coming soon, you can I, I am the Nova for more information. And of course, her name is Tyrus Cervevi. And by Wildfire, ladies and as Team Wildfire, ladies and gentlemen. Are you looking to up your arsenal in blazing hot videos? Team Wildfire can make that happen with 100% custom videos as well as the fire package. Check out our classes at, on www.youtube.com slash Lyra Team Wildfire. You can also contact Lyra Phoenix or Captain Falcon if, he's, if his bones have knitted. Team Wildfire, it's time to burn. We are all brought to you by Honey Blunt's Designs. For all those special hippie trippy moments in and out of the ring. Also specialized gear to make you look great in that ring. At most of your favorite wrestling federations in Next Gen Central, you can contact Honey Blunt's resident for more information. And if you don't know where your login is, wait till our main event. Also brought to you by Abyssal Nico Designs. Ladies, if you're looking for some awesome mesh that you don't need to shrink your boobies for, check out the sexy designs at Abyssal Neko Designs on the career sim. For more info, you can contact Lalandra Lancaster. Also, Hawks t-shirts are for sale. Men's, women's, jackets, t-shirts, hoodies. All brought to you by Honey Blunt's Designs and Abyssal Neko Designs. Check out the entrance shops and show your support for the Hellcats. Also, be sure to like our Facebook page. Check out all the information in information happening here in the Hawks arena there. Also ask management for a Hawks fan tag. Also remember that Hawks is just like the public broadcasting system. It is put on from generous donations from the viewers and fans like you. If you would like to make a donation, please feel free to drop one in the tip thermometer located in the wall to my right. Or on the wall to my right. And if you'd like to sponsor Hawks, check out the ad boards on the wall, or you can also contact Honey Blunt's resident for more details.
Well, with that all being said and done, I think we are ready for our main event. This is a special LEGO match, set for one fall. Introducing first the challenger, weighing in at 135 LEGOs, from homegrown USA, Honey Blunts. Looks like Honey Blunt is well prepared with two big buckets full of Legos. I have been informed that this match is pretty much like hardcore rules, but the only weapons they are allowed to use are Lego weapons. A huge ovation for Honey Blunt's. Sporting a hot pink outfit. And of course that Marty Gras like mask of hers as always. And now, her opponent, she comes to the ring from Coventry, England, at a weight of 119 Legos, she is the classically trained one, Horses Morrissey. Anything's legal in this match, as long as it's done with your arms, legs, body, or Legos. <laughs> and there are no count outs. Huge ovations for both horses and honey here. Much love for both competitors. Both practically legends in their own right. And let the Legos bounce. Honey saying, wait, Legos? She thought the ref said Jello. <laughs> she must have been smoking the good stuff before this match. I don't want some of that stuff. <laughs> it looks like horses is ready to go. And there's the bell.
And now the two competitors circling each other to start things off. It's looking like a little game of cat and mouse in the middle of the ring here. And now they lock horns. And Horses Morrissey dragging her back and gets around her doing a German suplex on her. And now she's just taunting her with jumping jacks. And apparently, Honey did not like that with how she got up there. And now they lock horns again. Honey Blunts sends her flying down with a suplex of her own. And now some of Honey's taunts here. Shaking that thing her mama gave her. And now a wrist lock from Horses Morrissey. The honey escapes with a flip. Encounters with a hip toss. Sending horses to the outside. Now, Honey appearing to stalk her opponent like a wolf watching a herd of sheep there. Trying to find out which one to go for. Off the rope she goes. And a skin the cat from, from Honey. And she catches the top rope and flips herself back in. Seeing that, it's Lego time! It looks like Honey is eyeing that bucket of Legos. What's she gonna pull out of it? Will it be a Lego Batman? Will it be a Lego Bat? No, she just spills several Lego Legos across the ring. Mm. And now, honey, to the outside. Bringing horses back in. It looks like we're in for some hot Lego action. Now, honey, up to the top turnbuckle and down into the Legos. Nobody home but the Legos for honey blunts. You know that has to hurt. And now there's a cover. One, two, not quite. Only a two count. And now horses with that classically trained front face lock on Honey Blunts. Follows it up with a sleeper hold. I guess she's trying to make Honey the first to pass out. Anybody got a Sharpie?
The last time I checked, he ain't the kind to pass out so easily as she fights her way out of it with a snapmare. Yeah, both ladies down. I don't think either one is out. But what's this? Horses is going toward the Legos. It looks like she's got a handful. Honey, bear, look out here. Oh, and a Lego punch. Times like these, I'm starting to wonder just how much of her face was protected by that mask, if any. Because you know that's got to hurt. It looks like now she's got more Legos. Spilling them across Honey here. Even dropping some down onto her mouth. I guess she wants her to choke on the Legos. <laughs> As she picks her back up. Back into that front face lock. And horses clubs her in the back with the forearm. Gills airborne. But nobody home. Horses right into the pile of legs. Both ladies looking like they're in a world of pain right now with how much they've been hit with those Legos. It looks like Honey just grabbed a handful here. I think it's time for a little payback from Honey. Going for the cover. Only a two count though. Can only be classically trained in so many things. How much classic training can you have for a Lego match? Honey, a little slow to get back to her feet here. The horse is crawling toward the corner. I think she might be going for some more Legos here. Horses calling for timeout. I don't think she's going to get one, though. There are no timeouts in wrestling. Honey now pounding away at her in the corner.
Oops, sorry about that. Thank you for noting that. <laughs> Had a little difficulty with the wires here. And now a matchbook pin from Honey Bunts. One, two, not quite. Yeah, somebody start better start putting some mouse traps in this place. I think a rat chewed my mic wire there. <laughs> Horses saying no more. Time out. There are no timeouts in wrestling. This isn't one of your classically trained two out of three falls matches. This is one fall, no timeouts, no time limit either. And now more Legos being spilled in the middle of the ring. Uh oh! Lady Godiva's tax protest from Horses Morrissey! You can see several of those Legos are now stuck to Horses' back! And now, a clunge hammer! And here's the cover! One, two! Only a two count! Uh-oh! I think horses just got some more Legos out of that bucket there. This cannot be good. More being spilled throughout the ring here. They already see a lot of them stuck in both of their bodies. And the honorable mention from Horses Morrissey as they both go into the Legos. And now the cover. One, two, not quite. Almost a three count, though. Now an exhausted horse goes into the corner and s spills more Legos through the ring. And now the arse bounce from horses, but I think that's putting more Legos into her than it is to, into honey. Now she's got her up by the hair. Referee warning her, I guess, for getting that snow holds barred. And a mule kick counter from honey there. Kicked her right in the Duplo.
And the horse is first to her feet as she gets up with the ropes. And just a reminder, no, this is not a fun, those just joining us, no, this isn't a, one of those fundraiser bucket challenges. Those are the, you're thinking of the other kind of buckets. <laughs> and horses shoving honey out of that corner. Out of the corner into the Legos. Yeah, this is what you call the Lego bucket challenge. As in anything goes as long as it's with your arms, legs, head, body, or with your Legos. Now, horses picks her back up, puts her in that front face lock. But look on the bright side, at least they're not having to do this barefoot. Now, a Coventry plunge! I think that might be it for Honey Blunts there. That was a big splash into the Legos. The referee counting away now. We could see a double knockout. But hard to tell. Referee up to three. Horses got the arm over. One, two. How did Honey kick out of that? Honey Blunt's just barely able to survive that horrible slam. Now horse is back into the corner. Going up to the top turnbuckle, high rent district. It's honey slow to get back to her feet. She goes airborne. The honey catches her. And into a crotch face crippler. Face first in the Legos is Horses Morrissey. I don't think she will be lasting too much longer with, from this. Is she going to tap? Horses saying no. Chomping her way out of that one. I guess that's why they call her horses. <laughs> Got a bite from hell, apparently. Now the referee administering another double tank count. Now up to four, up to five. The horse is first back up onto her feet again. As the ref gets up to six. But now Honey making her way back to her feet. As horses spills more Legos onto the canvas. 
With all those Legos, it amazes me I haven't seen any blood on that canvas. And now they're locking up. Horses calling for timeout again. Yeah, she ain't going to get it. And Honey reminding her as she tur as they exchange rights and lefts, but Horses gets the better with the kick to the midsection and spikes her down with the ketamine. That could have very easily given Honey Blunts a concussion. I'll be very amazed if she's still conscious after that one. And now the cover. One, two, three. That is it. The winner of the match, Horses Morrissey. Horses is your winner. <laughs> it looks like that she took a lot of loss in that match too. Looking highly exhausted. I hope she'll be all right. Horses has been able to recover as she got back to her feet. The question is, what about Honey? She's not moving too well after that ketamine. And Honey's saying she thinks a Lego got her pregnant. Do I really want to see what the child of that would look like? <laughs> Just what we need, a Lego honey. It's good to know that she has regained consciousness. It had to be a very painful and grueling match. But one person I'd hate to be, well, probably just as much as one of those two wrestlers in that kind of match. Would be the janitor having to clean all this up. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the show. Did you guys all enjoy it? What a main event, right folks? Hell of a match. Actually, <laughs> I think we got to let him hear it for all three matches tonight.
This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions, and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.